Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studios. It is 3.40 in the morning. <laughs> I can't sleep. All I can think about is, what kind of video do I need to make? No, seriously, I can't sleep because the dogs woke me up. <laughs> so I was looking through comments on um, the last video about the... the um, Jeez, I lost my train of thought already. I just started. Um, I was looking at the, the comments of the last video for the belly bands, and somebody asked me what flag books are. So I thought I would answer it real quick and show you the three that I've made. Now let me tell you what. These are prototypes. I never made these before. They're rough. They're not fabulous. But I like the idea, so I hung on to them as inspiration maybe for a later date. And look what happened. Now I got three little tiny books here and people actually want to see the silly thing. So I'm going to do them one at a time. And look, I used my Kool-Aid dyed paper. Yay! Okay, let's see. Let's start with, I don't, you know, honestly, I do not remember which one I made first. This one is dated 212 um, of 17. Um, Carla from Cage Fish and I had talked about flag books. I went and looked up how to make them. She told me some stuff how to make them, so I played with it. Remember, this is my belly band for it. Let's see what's this one. Okay, so I made this one out of, I don't know, some kind of leftover cardboard from a cereal box or something. This is all leftover scrap stuff, so this is not, you know, pristine and fabulous. I had painty papers and did it, covered it with painty papers. All right, so a flag, book, a flag book is something that's made with an accordion style, um, I don't know what do you call it. It's made with folded paper that you fold back and forth. What are they called? Anyway, it's made with folded paper that go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then you glue tabs onto those pieces of paper. And this is the first one. Let me see if I can get this. Let me see if I can get this. There we go. Oh, I might be getting better at this. Don't hold your breath, though. Okay. So this is the first one I did. I made... Is it right side up? I made this. And this is what it is. Is that cool? If you could see, let me turn it this way. Can you see that? It looks complicated, but honest to goodness, if it was complicated, you know I am not making it. All right, so let me show you the spine. What do you call that? Accordi uh, an accordion spine? I don't, I don't know what the official term is. Isn't that cool? All right, so when I made this one, I did not have any kind of a plan involved. I only did it for um, all the colors that I had on, I think there were some kind of markers or something. And I maybe it was water paint. Yes, it's watercolor paint. Blah. And I liked it, so I made the little tabs with watercolor paint on them just to use, like I said, as a prototype. And when I was done counting them, I discovered I had 26? Are there 26 letters in the alphabet? Oh my god. Um, so there was a tab for every letter of the alphabet. And I just wrote every letter of the alphabet on it. And then it folds up. You just push it together and it folds up. <coughs> Excuse me. So this one was the first one I made. I just thought it was rather funny. It was cute. So I thought, well, if I can make this look good plain with just watercolor and letters of the alphabet, there must be a way to make a scene. I don't know how I got from letters of the alphabet to a scene. Anyway. <laughs> um, so then this is how I got the second one. Remember I talked about this is the beach and there's the sand and there's the ocean. So here's the second one. Now, there are flaws in this one that I will tell you about so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. All right, here we get the accordion-style spine. And then you pull it open. And it's upside down. <laughs> you pull it open. 
it's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, you pull it open and you get a beach scene. And then you fold it back up like that. Let's do it this way. You see that? Is that cool? It's so stupid simple. But what is not simple is what I did for the scene. I took a piece of paper and I drew a scene on it. Then I cut it up into strips. And then I glued it into the accordion portion here. Now, <laughs> when I drew the scene, I put these cute little seagull birds. Let me go. Where is that thing? I drew the little seagull birds. You see the little birds? <laughs> when I drew it and cut them up, I hacked off their wings. <laughs> I didn't realize and didn't think it out very well that when you cut them up, you know, when you stagger them out like that, that <laughs> you cut body parts off. So um, my advice to you is if you make one of these, do a prototype and play with it first. And then see how it is. And then make any corrections in the second edition. So what I learned from this one was if I'm going to put things that might be chopped off, that matter, that what I should do is next time draw the birds individually on the cards instead of hacking them. See, because here's the other half. Let me bend this over. I hope this doesn't ruin it. See, there's the other half of my birdie. And when I chopped them up to make the tabs, he's got a wing flying in the air by itself. <laughs> okay. I'm a little punchy at 3 a.m. Anyway. I guess I'm easily amused. <laughs> um, okay, so there's the there's the other prototype flat book. But I liked doing it. Whoops, sorry. I liked doing it because I thought it was something unusual and something fun. And sometimes your brain needs a little challenge. Well, <laughs> more than a little challenge for me. Sometimes you need something to stimulate your inspiration and just to stimulate your need for creativity and this did it. I spent a couple days playing with these silly prototypes of a flag book because I just thought they were so doggone cute. It has no rhyme or reason. It serves absolutely no purpose but I don't really care because it just made me laugh. Especially the one where I killed the poor birds. <laughs> they right there. See that bird right there? There's the other half of him right here. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. That's just plum silly. All right, so I'm going to put the belly band. Remember I told you on the other thing, you put the belly band on the small end, not this big. Oh, oh do you want to see this? Did I show you that? I showed you this, right? Okay. So all you do is you take a piece of paper and you measure it and you crease every time you have, have a measurement. And then I put the belly band. There's the sand and there's the ocean. So I know right side up. And you just slide it on that end. Okay, so that's the second one. I don't remember what's in here anymore. <laughs> what is this? Oh, nope. This is not. <laughs> this is not what I thought it was. All right, I want to show you one other little tiny book. I just like making little tiny books. And this is Shannon and this is Shannon Green's fault and Carla at Cagefish's fault. <laughs> I just can't make books that are regular size anymore. <laughs> this is a a metal button that I got from someplace. I have no, oh, no, that's not a metal button. This is one of those things that comes in a pack. I'm not sure if it's Tim Holtz or who it is, but it has a sticky, a sticky, let me call them, um, what are these things called? They're not a dot. They're called, <laughs> no, those are photo corners right there. Uh, has one of these on it. Well, for Pete's sake, Vicki. I don't have any big ones, but it has these little, what do you call these? Oh, pop dots. Oh, geez. But these are little tiny ones. So the one that went underneath the button is a little bit bigger, but it has a pot dot, pop dot attached to the back of the button, and you buy them in a package. I've had this for several years and never used them, and then all of a sudden decided that I had to have it. Well, I put it on here and then put one of put elastic on it so I could close my book. You know how I feel about closures. Um, and... When I did that, it pulled it off. And I like the pop dot that it 
gives the book a little texture here. So what I did was I think I took E6000 and put a little dab on the bottom of the top pop dot that, you know, how it popped off and glued it back on there. And now, like, that bad boy's not moving. It's not going anywhere. Uh, when did I make this? July 25th of 2017. You know, I, something that I have started doing, because somebody said, well, if you're proud enough to make it, you should be proud enough to sign it. So I've been putting what year, day, and year I make things so that when I go back to look at them and go, oh, my word, look at that silly mess. Well, now I know why. Because in a year, I've learned more about what not to do. And so dating stuff helps you to know where you came from to see where you've ended up. I kind of like that. All right. So let me take this off. This is just basic um, elastic that you get on a little roll. I think I bought this at Joann's. All right. So again, this is not perfect and it's painty paper, but I like it. Let's see. Do I need to make you go further down? Just a wee bit. All right. So there it is. You can see it. It's just a little tiny glue book. Whoops. What's with the lights? Well, 3 o'clock in the morning. What do you expect, right? Okay, so there it is. I had a picture of, a vintage picture of a woman. And I put, um, I put her on there and she didn't need any extra stuff because she is just elegant on her own. This one is a picture of a mermaid. And I happened to, when I cut it out, I think the word paradise was close to her. So I made paper that looked like it was seaweed and water and did little bubbles because she's a mermaid. You know. Let's see. This is painty paper that I did. And this is a picture of a woman holding nothing. <laughs> she's sitting down. I don't know what those three things are, but I just like the color. And But when I glued her onto my painty paper, she kind of disappeared. So I took a black marker and kind of put it around her so oh I think maybe is, is this Stabilo? I think I might have used a Stabilo pen pencil and did it around her to make her stick out a little more. This one was of the cutest little rabbit with a daffodil in its hair. So I tried to find painting paper that would match the little blue flowers in her little dress and I got lucky and had a couple scraps. And again, I outlined it with a little black pen, I think. Maybe it was Posca. I don't know. This one, I had lots of little images and decided I need to put them on a page together. This is an envelope, book text, painty paper, more painty paper. This is from a magazine, and this is also from a magazine. Same thing for the one on the other side. I had a picture of something. I think this came out of maybe the back of Prim's magazine because he... Looks a little odd. Where are his legs? Oh. I think he's an easel figure. I think his legs are on an easel behind him. And they put him on the top of the easel. And the bottom part of him is a, a little art easel. And he has his little buoy. And he has a little anchor. He's just a little sailor. Kind of a primitive looking sailor. This is envelope. Leftover painting paper. And the background is just leftover painting paper. This one, oops, sorry, this one is painty paper also, and it and it is from Primps Magazine, because look at that face. <laughs> um, it's some kind, uh, I want to say it's a rat <laughs> with a dress on, holding a pumpkin. So I did it with um, Halloween colors in the background. This one is the same type thing. It, it's kind of a fathead pumpkin thing with a dress on. I just, they were so odd. That they were cute. Outlined it in black marker. Painty paper in the back that has a little bit of orange and black that kind of just go well with the photo. This one is of a doll, a handmade doll, and it looks like it was a little boy with a lot of hair. And he's sitting down with something on the floor. So he had green in the objects that are laying on the floor. So I had some painty paper that was green. And in order for him not to disappear in the background, I just took a piece of, um, I think this, this is painty paper, but it's like a faded out red or a peach color, and put it behind it to call attention to the little guy. This one is uh, also from Prims, and this is from, the background is from a um, 
fun foam stamp. You know, Carla does a lot of stamps with fun foam, so I tried my hand at it. And I put it behind her because she almost looks like a Madonna to me in the picture. So I was trying to do, like, you know, the, the Madonna look to it with her head behind the, the sun. This is a scene that is also in another little book that I have. This is book tasks, book text, painty paper, and these are little, um, they're, I think they, they're paper dresses that are in somebody's shop window. And because it looks to me like it's, um, like a, a sewing place, I put the picture of the button on it. And this is from a magazine. This button right here is a die cut button. And there's just another picture that I like that kind of went the color on the other side over here. And I try to make them similar or use the same type elements in both to make the page look more uniform together, the spread. This is also from Prim's Magazine. I just liked it. It reminded me at first when I saw it, it reminded me of a gingerbread cookie, but it's kind of like a sad cookie. Maybe because he knows someone's going to eat his hands and his head and his legs off first when he gets eaten. <laughs> so I did, um, this is envelope, and just painty paper and glued it on there. There was no rhyme or reason for that one. This is also from the back of a magazine. I'm not sure if it's Prems or not. It probably is. But there, were, there was this lovely woman, and then I saw these little old tiny blocks, and there was another um, period female there and I just put them on the same page together I don't know why they just look like they went together this one is of this is a stuffed I think this is either a goat or a sheep and it's a doll and I think it came back from the back of Prims and I think this one all, did also or art journal magazine and then I just drew hearts on painty paper and then I glued the two cutouts on there this one is a little busy. Um, I had kind of lavender painty paper, and there's a picture of a woman standing sideways, and alongside on her shoulder there's a, a little tiny clock. And I thought, well, it needs earth. It needs something round to go with the round here. The colors don't really match, except for the background of the earth kind of goes with the painty paper in the background and some of the, the lavender on the picture. And so how that's how I got that. And then I poked a hole in the back and tied that on there. Whoops, sorry. I don't know if that's the way other people do it. But I did not understand how to use um, eyelets. And so I just shoved a, I took a pokey tool, shoved that bad boy in there. <laughs> and then I just got a closure on it. It's not that exciting, is it? <laughs> Anyway, so that's one of the other little books. I don't know. Should I show this one, I guess? This one is a prototype. Again, it's covered up with painty paper. Um, Carla and I were working out different ways to fold. You know, we I love the tag pocket book that she makes. So we were looking at different things about how to make little books with other kinds of pockets in them. And I watched a woman's video, and I cannot remember the woman's name because this was a while ago. But she was very meticulous about how to make this. And all it is is... I guess I need to back this out because you can't see this, can you? E -e -e. There you go. It's a way to slide something in. I don't have anything. Wait, let me slide a piece of paper. It's a way to put photos or different things. This may be too big. And because these things are folded up and down, it creates kind of a, a pocket, but it's not glued down. And you can slide little things inside it. You can put one on that side. See, this is too big for that, but you know, you can slide it here. And then it also has on the opposite side. So they're not glued down. You know, when you open them up, they're going to flop around. I thought about tacking them down, but I just didn't get that far. So all it is is these folded up pieces of paper. A 
and then you put them down and then make pockets. And there's like four. Yeah, I think there's four in here. But I just thought it was something different, you know. I like little things like this that are very cute and quick. Remember, my attention span. So there's the other prototype along with the belly band that has the writing on the ends that I never painted over. <laughs> so there you go. There's a little flip through. I will um I will do the some link from Pinterest where I found these and uh give you the link for the woman who has a really good tutorial of it. No, it's not a video. It's a um, pictorial on how to do the the flag books, but she has some really nice stuff up there. So I will put the link down below for you so that you can find it. But I thought these were fun. You know, I don't know if everybody calls them flag books, but when I went on Pinterest, I just put the word flag book in and I got all kinds of of cool pictures and tutorials and oh man it is just awesome the stuff that people made I don't know where they come up with this stuff I'd like to be that smart truly I would be I would love to be that smart anyway so there's my little flip through very quickly for oh shoot was it Emma who asked or Gloria I can't remember in the comment section from the last video who wanted to see or had never heard of what a flag book was if you live in a different country maybe they call them something else but I guess here they call flag books because they kind of look like a flag or maybe they started out with people doing American flags so that they you know come out um, I don't know but I thought this was kinda of cute and then I had enough tabs on this one to do the ABC's I don't I just it was an afterthought but this one I I mean, th this one's the ABCs. This one I did for the beach scene because I thought it would be pretty cool to have a scene that kind of all unfolds and comes together when you do it. And I just like the idea. Something cute. I'm all about small and cute. Okay, that's it. It is, ooh, way longer than I anticipated. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, that's it for me at 4 o'clock in the morning now. See you later. Bye.